If you're looking to move to Tennessee, but you don't know which city to move to, in this video, we go over the top three cities people are moving to in Tennessee. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Evan Barron. I'm a licensed realtor here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. So as much as I love making these videos, I love helping you guys with your real estate needs even more. So in any of the ways down below, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to help. A little bit of background about myself. My father is in the military, so growing up, I've moved all over the country. I've even lived overseas for a little bit. So I have a lot of experience and knowledge about you know, what it takes to find a good home and whether a, an area is decent or not. The population of 182,000 people and growing, Chattanooga is the number one place people are moving to in Tennessee for good reason. The first reason, in my opinion, is just the beautiful area. They call this place the scenic city for a reason. One, the city is just really pretty. The Tennessee River runs right through it. You have the beautiful Walnut Street Bridge, the blue iconic bridge that people walk on every single night. The city overall just has an awesome vibe. Chattanooga sits in a valley between the Cumberland and Appalachian Mountains. So with that, you have really close access to the mountains. Now the mountains provide you with so many activities. You can go hiking, rock climbing, mountain biking. Um, there's rivers and lakes. So. If you have a boat, you can go boating, you can go whitewater rafting, and you can have a beautiful views while participating in all of those activities. If you're an outdoor person, you will absolutely love it here. Chattanooga is definitely a place for the outdoor person because not only do you have access to the mountains, but within the city and the suburbs itself, it also has a ton of parks to choose from as well. A big thing here I've noticed is disc golfing as well as golfing, but there are a ton of disc golf courses that people like doing and just a ton of hikes and nature walks that you can go on as well. With the beautiful surroundings, you have all four seasons here in Chattanooga as well. Uh, summer being my favorite just because it is hot and I get to spend time on the lake and on the boat and it's just a really good time. But people love fall here too because it's just absolutely stunning. When the trees and the leaves change in the mountains, it looks absolutely beautiful. The weather is really nice too. In the fall, the weather can range from you know 50 to 70 degrees and fall is mostly sunny as well. Now the winters I don't really like just because they're gray and gloomy. They are very mild winters, but Chattanooga as a whole is very humid. So, you know, with the summers, you have very hot and humid summers, but you also have very humid winters as well. So when the temperatures drop and the weather is also humid, it's just bone chilling. Like it's not that cold on paper from, you know, 30 to 50 degrees. Those are the types of temperatures that you can experience in winter, but it's like humid cold. And it's just, I don't know. I, I just don't really like it. It's gray, gloomy and rainy a lot of the time, but you know, uh, the other part of the time it can be very sunny. And like right now, I think it's, it's around like 65 degrees and sunny. The sun is out and it's absolutely beautiful. And we are, you know, just beginning January right now. So winters are hit or miss. It just really depends on where you're coming from. Also, since we're in the mountains, if it snows, it's just absolutely beautiful. It's a winter wonderland. We'll have maybe like three days of snow max during the winter, but when it does snow, it's really nice because because we're not used to the snow here, school is put off, work is put off, and you can just enjoy uh, your time with family playing in the snow. Chattanooga also has a thriving economy and a big attraction to Chattanooga uh, from like investors and startups is one, we have the fastest internet in the world provided by EPB. And two, it's, the city is just growing so much um, as far as population goes and infrastructure as well. There's this development called The Bend where they plan on uh, developing a lot of new restaurants and stores and communities, just residential areas as well. And it's right on the river. It's going to be like a whole nother part of, you know, the city of Chattanooga. So that is really cool. The city is growing a lot and it's attracting a lot of people. It's attracting a lot of employers as well. So right now we do have a bunch of options if you're looking for employment and the healthcare, insurance, startup, really, I mean, any industry, auto industry. We have a Volkswagen 
plant here. But yeah, it's becoming a very attractive place for employers. And when employers come, new jobs come as well. Another part of Chattanooga that is just really cool is the culture and community here. People are just very nice and friendly. And you do have that Southern hospitality that is very real. People are just really nice and they want you to feel welcome and at home. There are a few cons to living in Chattanooga. And the first, since we talked about weather first, uh, we're going to talk about tornadoes. Tornadoes aren't that big of an issue here. We have one in every 10 years, maybe. Uh, the last one came in 2020, but the houses here, a lot of them have basements and crawl spaces, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, another thing that's a con for me is just personal preference. Something that I just noticed after five years of living here are the amount of power lines that are on the street, and this really just depends on the neighborhood. Uh, but sometimes the power lines can just look really jumbled and it just doesn't look very good. But that just really depends on the area that you're living and moving to. Another thing I love about Chattanooga is its location and proximity to the other big cities surrounding it. So it's right in the middle of a triangle between Atlanta, Knoxville, and Nashville. Knoxville and Nashville are actually the other two cities that we're going to be talking about. But it's about an hour and a half from Knoxville, two and a half, two, two and a half hours from Nashville, and two hours from Atlanta and also about two hours from Birmingham. So really you're close to four major cities, which is really nice. If you can't find what you're looking for in Chattanooga, you have other cities to go to. Another thing about Chattanooga that I love is it has a local metropolitan airport. Uh, it's really nice because it's just so quick. You go get your ticket, go through security, and you are at your gate. I think it has like six gates or something like that, but it is never packed. You can get straight to your gate within minutes. It's super nice. The only thing is it's a domestic airport, so it's not international. If you're traveling to somewhere far, then you'll likely have a layover in Atlanta or Charlotte. I've traveled a ton and Chattanooga is by far my most favored airport. The next area that people are moving to is Nashville, Tennessee. Nashville is definitely a lot bigger than Chattanooga. It's way more established. It has like four times the amount of people there and its location is like right in the center of Tennessee. It's a little bit farther from those major cities, but Nashville itself is a major city, so you'll likely not have to travel to those other major cities often. Nashville is located like right in the center of Tennessee. It's about four hours from Atlanta and three hours from Knoxville. Again, about two, two and a half hours from Chattanooga. As a general rule, the further west you go in Tennessee, the flatter it gets and kind of the more boring it gets. There are some very beautiful parks and hikes and waterfalls near Nashville, but you'll likely be traveling a lot farther if you want to be in the mountains. The average housing costs are actually 56% higher than Chattanooga as well. So it's a lot more expensive place to live. In general, Chattanooga does have a lower cost of living than the entire United States. However, because Nashville is just way more developed and a lot bigger and just has more people, there is often uh, more options for housing as well. Your commute time is probably going to be a lot more as well just because of how spread out it is and how much bigger it is. But yeah, housing is a lot more expensive in Nashville. The median home price for Chattanooga is around $289,000, while the median home price for Nashville is $440,000. When you think of Tennessee, you probably think of Nashville. Nashville is like the central music hub for country music anyways, for like the entire United States. Uh, so And it's, you know, developed its name through music. And that's representative of the culture there too. Nashville does have a lot of young people and there are a lot of people who pursue their career in music in Nashville. If you meet a younger person in Nashville or even an older person and you ask them what they do, they'll probably say that they do music in some form. Now the different attractions and things to do in Nashville reflect that. You know, you have the Ryman Auditorium, you have the Grand Ole Opry, you have the Country Music Hall of Fame. You just have things of that nature. So if you're a big country music lover, then you'll love Nashville. Nashville is also a much more touristy place. Uh, you have a place called Broadway Street, where if you go on it, you'll see all of the bachelorette parties that are going on. A lot of people who graduate high school or college or for birthday parties, bachelorette parties, they all hang out on Broadway. And it seems like everyone who hangs out on Broadway, you ask them where they're from, none of them are actually from Nashville. They're all wearing their cowboy hats and cowboy boots, but none of them are actually real cowboys. They're all just tourists, which is fine. There's a ton of things to do on Broadway. There's a ton of nightlife. Uh, there's bars, there's restaurants, and there's a lot of honky tonks as well. So if you want to learn how to line dance and have a good time doing that, it is a good time. It's pretty fun. 
Nashville provides a lot of those, a lot more than Chattanooga. I'd say that Nashville is pretty unique and charming in the way that you have multiple different neighborhoods that if you can find parking, you can walk those neighborhoods and there's just like a bunch of like hole in the wall restaurants and coffee shops and it's really cool and the food there is awesome. Not to say that Chattanooga doesn't have a lot of good options for restaurants and good eating, but Nashville is definitely superior in that aspect. Now, the third city that people are moving to when they move to Tennessee is Knoxville. It's actually very interesting because of how different Nashville, Chattanooga, and Knoxville are from each other as far as community and culture goes. Knoxville is a more uh, sports fan vibe culture, and that is because UT's main campus is located in Knoxville. Now, Knoxville geographically is northeast of Chattanooga. You do have close access to the mountains. The Smoky Mountains are just south of Knoxville, and you also have the Cumberland Mountains north of Knoxville. It's very similar to Chattanooga in that it's located in a valley between the Appalachian Mountains and the Cumberland Mountains. So there are similar things to do as far as the outdoors go. Now, Knoxville is a little bit more established than Chattanooga as well. Again, you have UT's main campus there, so you have a really big college, and on game days, it goes crazy. If you're a college sports fan and you love tailgating and you love going to football games, then Knoxville would be a great place because they are huge sports fans there. You walk down the street, everyone's wearing Tennessee orange. Even if they're not actually a fan, uh, they're going to represent Tennessee. And it's just a really vibrant sports culture over there. There's also a ton of options for restaurants. If you are a foodie like myself, Knoxville is a great place to eat food. Honestly, all of Tennessee, there's going to be some good restaurants. I mean, we're in the South. Uh, but yeah, Knoxville does have a few good places and food is a big part of the culture over there. Another reason why I really do like Knoxville is because it is a little bit more established, but also it's really close to the Smoky Mountains and Gatlinburg. The Smoky Mountains is like the most visited national park in the United States and for good reason. That place is just awesome. It's huge. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, the different Airbnbs, the unique Airbnbs that you can stay in over there and the camping and the hikes to waterfalls and awesome views that place is just a great place to hang out or do a little weekend trip and if you live in knoxville that's right in your backyard i spend a lot of time in the smoky mountains just because of how beautiful it is now i like to describe gatlinburg which you know is like the main tourist town of the smokies as the hillbilly las vegas just because it does have that southern culture that southern twang and you can see it in the city and the buildings and the attractions and the restaurants and all that stuff there's a pancake house like on every block. Uh, you will not have a shortage of food if you travel down there. Uh, but yeah, Gallenberg is in Knoxville's backyard essentially. Now overall, I am biased because I do live here in Chattanooga, but I do think Chattanooga is the best because it is the most well-rounded city. You know, you have a great outdoor life. It's cheaper cost of living, so you won't spend as much. Your money will go a lot further. It's growing a ton. There's more job opportunities coming here. There's more uh, people coming here. So if you buy real estate early, it's going to appreciate, and it just has a great culture and community here. That's part of the reason why I chose to move to Chattanooga, just because of all the reasons I just listed, and it has not let me down so far. So guys, if you're thinking about moving to any of these places, then feel free to give me a call. Again, guys, I am a licensed realtor here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. So in any of the ways down below, give me a call, shoot me a text, shoot me an email, DM, and any of the ways down below, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to help you guys make the move here. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.